The National Union Platform Party has responded to four-time presidential candidate Dr. Chiza Vesije, saying they hold no fight with him and there is no need for an apology. Hello, welcome, and thanks for taking your time joining us live on Projan Media TV. But let's take more look into some of these details. Uh, Mr. David Louis Rubongwe, the National Unit Platform Party Secretary General yesterday, told journalists at their headquarters in Kamocha, Kampala, that they are committed to working together with the Dr. Vesige's new formation even without necessarily joining them. They have been working with the Dr. Chiza Vesige and continue to at end time, they have not personally seen the official statement from him for them to make a public apology, but therefore they think there is no need for that because there is no fight between them, as Rubongoya said. And this was all after Besije asking Bobby Wine for public apology over attacks by uh, supporters on social media. At the peak of the war on social media last week, Mr. Patrick Oboy Amuria, the Forum for Democratic Change Party president, who is also one of the principals of PFT, that is People's Front for Transformation, tweeted indicating that they had no obligations to ask for permission from the leading opposition in parliament before they form political groups. And former four-time presidential candidate Dr. Chiza Besije had asked National Unit Platform Party leader Honorable Bachagulani to make a public statement to seize fire on the New People's Front for Transformation. He continued saying that he called Chagulani and he said he regrets the ongoing attacks on his front. Some people have been asking him why he has not done that publicly and he doesn't know why, but he leave that to him. Dr. Besije told journalists at their first address to the media uh, and the formation of Dr. Besije's new pressure group, which is composed of six political parties, has birthed a verbal war with the supporters of Bobby Wine's NOOP, who indicate that People's uh, Front for Transformation is out to fight against the leaders of opposition in parliament at the peak of the war on social media last week. Mr. Patrick Oboy Amuria, the former, I mean the Forum for Democratic Change Party president, who is also one of the principals of the People's Front for Transformation, tweeted indicating that they had no obligation to ask for permission from the leading opposition in parliament before they form political groups. Leading opposition in parliament does not have to lead any struggle against the dictator if they don't wish to and they are not prepared or have no capacity to. And the Mandela former South African president led the struggle against the upper third in South Africa from outside parliament. FDC does not need anybody's permission to struggle as uh, Patrick Amuria tweeted. And this is not the first time such an outburst is happening between Dr. BCJ and Bobby Wine entities. In 2019, following the formation of Bobby Wine's People Power Pressure Group, supporters of Dr. Vesija were engaged in a verbal fight on social media with a group that they had said to come to take their political space. One morning in March 2019, a group of ghetto youth donned in People Power t-shirts Dr. Vesija had as he excited a radio station in Mengo in the city center and Bobby Wine then made a public statement and condemned the attack, but was quick to blame the state for masterminding what he called an attack aimed at spreading hate. The two principals consequently held a joint press conference, dubbed United Forces of Change, as a gesture to bring their supporters to order. The bickering sub subsided mont uh, momentarily. Dr. Vesije pointed out that he was aware that there is a habit by the state to create fights on social media to derail the main aim of struggling to oust President Museveni. Mr. Joel Senyonyi, the National Unit Platform Party spokesperson, declined to comment about the fights as a way of depriving the fight habit of media attention so that the focus can be turned on the main cause of forging a way of changing power in the country. Two sides in the contest also accused each other of failing 
to turn up whenever the other needed one support on a political collision. Dr. Vesige said that they sat in meetings countless times asking them to join the formation which he said they turned down pending more consultation from all the other party leaders before they made a clear commitment. They called National Unit Platform Party and they told them they needed eight months to consult. When the months were done, they asked them again and they told them to go ahead with the formation because they were not yet ready. In a rejoinder, Mr. Senyonyi said there was a time they wrote to all political parties to come and they discuss a way forward after the elections. All the other parties responded apart from power, that is Amuria's, Am Amuria's party. And four months after the presidential elections this year, National Unit Platform Party wrote to FDC asking for a meeting with the leadership of the party. The meeting was cancelled at the last minute with the intended hosts, indicating that they had an emergence that could not allow them to host Bobby Wine and his delegation. But the leaders within FDC said they had developed cold feet towards the meeting when they did not understand the agenda of the meeting. Ah, well, that is it for now, and we'll keep on updating you with more of this. Just kindly of do one thing subscribe and turn on the notification button. All these updates will come to you in time. Once again, thanks for watching Projan Media TV.